Hey everybody, welcome to What Comes Up, Comes Out. This is your girl Precious Aquinas and sometimes Ava coming at you live. I just want to make sure everybody knows that we need to get some housekeeping taken care of first. So let's go ahead and hit that subscription button if you have not already. Thank you to those of you who have already subscribed. Now today you are going to see a different <clears throat> version of Precious and I just want to talk a little bit about you know my experience. So today is July the 9th, 2023. Okay, first off let's just talk about how this year is going by so quickly. Sorry, I have sleep apparently in my eye. Um, or maybe it's just me being a little subconscious because I feel like I have something in my eye. Anyway, so this um, year is going by really, really fast. And in an effort to make sure I am doing what I am suggesting for my viewers, I just want to talk a little bit about my therapy sessions. So... As you all know, I lost my uh, ex-husband in January, and I've been going to see a therapist just because it was hard or has been hard for me to accept the fact, one, I divorced him. And then, um, second of all, he died almost immediately. Uh, he survived a few months, uh, several months afterwards, but he passed. And so some of the things that the therapist has been saying to me has been not earth shattering in the sense where, oh my gosh, Eureka, she just found a new cure or a name of a new, you know, emotion. No, but it's the language that she's been using. And she would say things or has said things to me like, <clears throat> excuse me, you love him. But I know that. Um, and I recall talking to her once about, you know, no one told me the facility that he was in. He'd been there for like a month. And I just, no one told me I would have went over there. So she said, what reason did they have to tell you? You left him. And so that has been hard for me to hear. It is not a lie. It is the truth. But it has been hard for me to hear her say that. Some other things that she said that I have been having a hard time processing is she mentioned that when she has had sessions with me, <laughs> that it's almost as she said that she's happy to have a representative, like I'm not being myself, that the representative that, or at least the face, that's what she means, the face that I'm presenting is not the authentic or real precious. And I'm like, what do you mean? I just told you I divorced my husband. I'm being honest with you. She said, I know, but it's not... It's a front. And I thought, wow, how many of y'all have ever had someone tell you that? Whether it's a therapist, your mom, your sister, your best friend, your husband, that all they're getting is a shell of you, the person. An outside version that's not really the full picture of you. How many of y'all have gotten it? Share it with me in the comments. I also got some feedback from my sister and one of my um friends who said that hey we want to hear more about precious not just the quantities and so I was like they're one and the same and what I've come to the conclusion is no they're two different people Aquinas is successful at her job and you know she's a part of upper management and unfortunately for me some of that has actually spilled over into my personal life and so when I'm asked the question who am I outside of Aquinas, part of management, top performing um, leader, I don't have an answer for that. And that's really, that's really challenging for me because if we are not, because we constantly hear ourselves, our parents, as well as people in our circle, you know, don't compare yourself to them. You know, you are your own individual. But it's, it's not the truth because... Even as artists, even as actors and actresses, even as politicians, we're ranked, right? And so I've been doing this for almost 16 years, being a part of um, the same company. And so it's hard for me to identify who I am outside of that title. And so I had the opportunity to go see, and some of you all saw, uh, the pictures um, during last week's real um it was a sister trip and so i got a chance to see erica badu and she did a great job but part of what my sisters and i were able to do when we bonded is talk about kitchen table talk like we normally do 
and one of my sisters, my baby sister, all of them are my baby sister, um, but the youngest of all of us, she said, Precious, I told you that you seem a little dry and stiff with your podcast. Like, you need to be a little bit more relaxed. And I still, I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm mentioning what I'm going through. And so I didn't, under, I didn't understand what she meant. And so one of my friends, they just left the house and they were talking about how, you know, you're evading um, she asked, you know, some questions like, what do I really want out of a relationship? Because I do want to be married again, right? But what is it that you're looking for? And I honestly told her, I was like, this is an abstract question to me because obviously I want a team player. I want someone that's, you know, financially sound, socially conscious, you know, that's going to, she was like, yeah, but what do you want? And I still, am I the only one that finds this concept? abstract it's like different pieces to a puzzle and i'm expected to figure this out almost instantly and i'm like i don't i don't have the answer and there's not a number it's not like a paint by number one two I, I, don't, I don't know and so it's just been really challenging for me to kind of understand i know someone told me that they wanted me to talk more about uh current events this is current in my life i don't really watch television um, and I don't really follow pop culture like I used to when I was young and I want to be, um, I wanted to be a journalist or broadcaster. I don't really keep up with things because guess what? I got my own <laughs> real life that I'm living, but that doesn't mean that I'm not open to trying different things. I just wanted to get y'all's thoughts on like relationships and when you're asked or posed questions how am I supposed to ask? Because one of the things that my friend said that just left the house was you can tell the therapist whatever you want, but you still keep some things to yourself and you should be able to be the most vulnerable with yourself. And that's true. We do still think, are they judging me? I don't care what the topic is. There are some parts of us that we're just not going to tell them. And so I'm just trying to be as honest with myself. And I am when I go see the therapist and I'm not like sugarcoating or hiding behind anything. But I, I don't know how to answer that question. When she told me that, I'm glad to see the representative. I'm like, She's cool. We can even have a mimosa. But where's the Aquinas? Do you know what I said to her? <clears throat> I said, so you want to see someone who's scared and unsure of themselves? She was like, why not? I was like, who wants to see that version of themselves, right? So I can tell you, and this was maybe three weeks, maybe a month ago when I made that statement to her, that I, I, I'm unsure on some things, and I know that's okay, but as a person who my god sister mentioned, I've never been allowed to kind of explore that creative side. You know, I come from a single parent home. I am the oldest of my mom's five girls, so being a leader or assuming that leadership role comes easy and naturally for me. Um, so it's just it's just really interesting to hear and to try and figure out. I don't have anything more right now um apparently fashion is great but there are more depths to precious or Aquinas and ava uh that viewers want to see and or hear and so in an effort to go off script this is what you all are gonna have for today um so it's july 2023 Today happens to be Sunday, and I'm sitting in this wonderful robe that's very comfortable with my fashion forward earrings talking to you about myself. Um, not that whenever I come to you all in my you know dresses after I've left church or what have you that I'm not myself, but this has been really interesting for me. It's, it's been a lot more like I don't have a solution to it and I can't move past it. I do want to share with you all that I have a therapy session this week, next week, and the following week. So I'm going to be able to see her weekly this month and hopefully I'll be able to keep that up. And there'll be a lot more um, dialogue about the therapy. Um, sorry for those of you who are looking forward to the fashion or a bit more pop. Um, but I do think it's important to make sure I am not really listening to what my audience wants, but myself, because I don't always feel fashion forward, um, or talking about fashion is just a part of who I am. Um, uh, my family is very fashion conscious. Um, and I do just like to look good for myself. Plus you never know who's watching. And sometimes a first impression is the only impression and or a lasting impression. One moment. 
you know, I had to get the Essentia break in, you know, it refreshes you. Um, so just for those of you who need a little bit of what we normally hear from me. So I really have been thinking hard and long about who Precious really is, what I really want, um, and what I really need. And it's okay that I may not have the answers, but it has just been very, it's been very interesting to hear that I don't know or to not be able to find a solution quickly because that is something that I'm trained to do like in my actual job and in my personal life because I've adapted some of those behaviors, um, attributes, characteristics, whatever you want to call them. I thought that I would be able to. Um, and it's just... It's been harder than I thought because I left Eric in the end. And even though I took the vows that said, you know, in sickness and in health, I left him. And so it's been hard for me to consistently move past that. Because sometimes I feel like a bad person for that. And so I'm instantly brought to like some movies, you know, where people leave or do other things and so I'm like am I really a bad person and I know for those of you who love me and support me outside of the video no pressures you did everything and that's true I did do everything that I could but I still left him and to have that reminder from the therapist not all the time but when she does say it or myself when I'm by myself it hurts because that's because one of the questions she asked was if this was the most committed relationship that you're supposed to be in how can people be your friend if you love him that's harsh that was whoa um so it's it's been hard for me to really move past that because i did leave and in the end he ended up you know in a facility dying by himself so, if you're struggling with doing something or not doing something, you do have to make sure you take care of yourself. And for me, it was a, it was a fight or flight almost emotion, you know? Um, I did the best that I could for him. But in the end, it wasn't enough because I still left. And so, that's what I've been battling and dealing with. Um, and I do know that some of that stems from... You know, I don't know the name because I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist. You know, my daddy wasn't around when I was growing up. I'm sure somebody could have a field day with that, like abandonment issues or just like, well, let me get out before, you know, but I married him disabled. So it wasn't about, I just, couldn't, it was so much. I just couldn't do it anymore. I'm sorry. I did not want to do it anymore because there's a difference. And so I'm learning to make sure I say the right words, not only to myself, you know, I mean, out loud to you all, but to myself, I, I did not want to do it anymore. So does that make me a bad person? I hope not. God, I hope it doesn't make me a horrible person. Um, but it has been telling and it's something that I'm just having to come to light and grip with because I, I made a decision to leave. So I don't have anything profound. Um, I don't have anything intellectual. I don't even have anything quirky, cute, or quick to say. But what I do want to say is when you're making these decisions, make them for you. Whether you get married, whether you get a divorce, whether you allow somebody back into your space. Because at the end of the day, it's your peace of mind. It's your sanity. It's your space. Because guess what? People going to have an opinion regardless. Some of you all are going to comment below. And that's fine. I knew that when I decided to get on the World Wide Web. Um, and having those open, honest conversations with yourself is healthy. It's cathartic. I would never have cried in public like this before. But I do know that crying is cathartic. And I do know that for someone who has had to always be strong, that this is a lot for me. Not just to, you know, sharing the tears with you all, but it's a lot for me to be able to say, I left. I feel bad about it, but I still left in the end. Um, so until next time, make sure you are maximizing whatever it is that you want to do in life. You know, don't, you know, join some club or do a job because your mom and dad wants you to do it or because they promise you so much money. 
because power, access, and prestige is limited. I can tell you because I purchase stuff, but it's to fill a void. And it's not like it's a new concept for me. I'm just not able to really say that out loud and be okay with, okay, you gotta stop buying stuff. And you gotta, you gotta figure out what's wrong. And what's wrong is I feel bad because I left Eric and then he died. So I, I didn't get a chance to make amends or move through. And so now I'm having to do that now. And it's harder than I thought it would be. Do I think I made the right decision? Yes, I know I did. Because I could not care. I did not want to have to have the responsibility of caring for him anymore. And for those of you who are like, I wish he'd get a tissue. I will when I finish. All of these are tears. None of it's not. Um... And if it makes you uncomfortable, move past the video or fast forward it because I'm coming to an end anyway. Um, but <clears throat> it's okay. That's one of the great things about life. We can make decisions and we can learn from them. Yeah, I am no better or no less than the next person. I am doing what I can for me on this journey. So I won't talk anymore. Um, I hope I gave you all some insightful, excuse me, insightful um, excuse me. News or not even a revelation. Just maybe confirmation that you aren't by yourself. That it's okay if you make a different decision. You don't have to stick with something just because you made that decision then 10 years ago. You can change your mind. It's still America. You know, you're still a human being. All right, well, thank you um, to those of you who have sat through today and watched my wide nose spread some more from tears. Um, I can't wait to see what you all are going to say in the comment section, and I look forward to chatting with y'all soon. Have a good one. Ciao.